So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as mentioned, my name is Matteo Bergamini, and I run a company called Shoutout UK. We're a youth network that tries to get more young people engaged and involved in politics, primarily through political literacy and other political literacy programs and our e-platform that I'm going to take you guys through in a second. So what do we mean by political literacy, just to start off with? So for us, politically, a politically literate population means a healthy democracy. And the idea is that democracy isn't just about the vote. Now, I'm not going to ruin your days too much by mentioning Brexit or the current state of uh, European politics at the moment, but democracy isn't just about the vote. It's not about just electing your governor. It's so much more than that. It's about understanding how politics impacts our lives, impacts our businesses, impacts our work, impacts our rights. All of these aspects, everything that we do in life has been influenced or impacted by politics. And political literacy and how being politically literate means that you can navigate and understand how that space works. At the moment, especially in the UK, but across Europe and the West, most schools, most young people, when they hit 18, have never really discussed or engaged with the political system. They've never really learned how the political system works, and yet they're expected to vote when they hit 18. So, the solution, shout out UK. An all-in-one platform for young people to learn about our political system and a place to voice their opinions. Because at the end of the day, we as young people, we're inheriting the world we live in. We should be able to understand how it works, have the tools to know how it works, and impact it and influence it for the better. So, how does it work? Schools, colleges, or universities subscribe to our political literacy program. It's an e-platform, it's a yearly subscription from September to August, depending on the academic year. Teachers get their own login. They can sign in, download all the resources, slideshows, graphic animation, cartoons. We love cartoons, and so do young people and then they sign up their students to work on the program. This is a quick snapshot of how a teacher portal looks like. There are three units that are broken down. Unit one deals with local national government, what's a council and MP, how are laws created, all the sort of bare bone basics that we should realistically already learn in schools, but one reason or another just don't. Unit two deals with the international relations, the wider world, European Union, as well as media literacy, which is so much more important now than it's ever been. The idea of you know, propaganda, misinformation, and so forth has always really existed, but the internet has supercharged it. Where now you can't really tell what's fact from fiction, and being able to critically analyze information and the news could not be more important. You think of misinformation, disinformation, of course, that word that uh, someone across the pond loves to use, fake news, is something that's prevalent within our society. This is a quick snapshot of our lessons, of a, one of our lesson plans. We use something called key vocabulary, which is so important, again, because it's not just young people that often don't have political literacy, but it's also the generation of teachers that currently exist now. Because no one has ever gotten this information. Unless you go to universities, you actively want to engage and have done and learned politics at either college or university level. More often than not, you will have never really engaged with, with politics or the system. On the student side, they get graphic animation cartoons, which dissect all of what the lesson plans have to offer and, and cover to ensure that young people can do either independent learning or classroom activity learning as well, to make sure that there is a balance of both. And whatever's covered with the teachers, the students can look through and go over in the graphic animation cartoons, which are voiced by a guy called Aaron Roach Bridgman, who is a presenter for SBTV, Channel 5, and Sky One. On the teacher, back on the teacher side, there is a clear and easy way for teachers to understand and look at and see how young people are progressing through our programs. They have, we do pre and post workshop surveys to make sure that they can see the impact of what they do. Because one of the things that schools often want to see is that kind of level of impact. Looking at how they started off politically, what they know about the system before they go through the program and how they uh, go through and how they end up once they've gone through the program. On top of this, we help schools set up something called student unions. Now, the idea here is that we didn't want our platform to just be another resource repository. There's a lot of those out there for a variety of different things. We didn't want to be that. We want to be embedded and are being embedded in schools across the UK. And the idea is that young people don't just learn about political literacy and understand and gain the tools to be able to engage in our democracy, but also actively partake in it whilst in schools. Because it's no good saying, well, you hit 18, you should vote now. The idea is that it becomes almost as regular, almost as 
a no-brainer as drinking some water every day. It needs to be ingrained within us in our society to be able to do and engage with our democracy if we are to make sure that those same trends and ideas carry on when we, hit, when we become part of the franchise, when we hit 18. On top of that, we also have polling. So schools, colleges, and universities can run polls with their students to find out what young people want to know or what they, want to, what they think about a certain issue. As you can imagine, a lot of our polls have been relating to Brexit at the moment. Um, but I'm looking forward to days when they actually cover something else for a change. And we can poll all of our network of schools, colleges, and universities on a variety of different issues, which, open up, which opens up a whole new uh, avenue and revenue stream for us at a later date. Finally, on top, of the, um, on top of the other options, schools and students are able to write and blog about issues they care about. Because again, it's not just about understanding the system and engaging with it, but it's also about talking about issues you care about. Understanding that your voice is important. You're inheriting this world, and you should have a say and be engaged and encouraged to have a say in the things you care about which then appear on the front page of our website. So if you go into shoutoutuk.org, all the articles on there are written by young people from ages 14 to 30 on a variety of different topics, from things relating to local politics to things like climate change and sustainability. On top of that, we also have a lot of partnerships and organizations we work with where we help them get booked by schools to run a variety of different workshops. We have workshops on things like human rights, feminism, LGBT+. We've also got a really bizarre workshop on the politics of Star Wars, which takes geopolitical issues and brings them into the uh, Star Wars space, which is actually ridiculously popular at the moment. So the idea is simple. Making sure that all young people, no matter which school, no matter what background they come from, they get a basic understanding of how the political system works. Then, for kids that want to go further, they can join a student union and actively take part in student politics and engage with how the democratic process works in a safe school environment. And then for kids that want to go further, can write articles and enhance their student voice. The impact so far has been pretty phenomenal. We've engaged with just over 700 schools, have worked with the cabinet office and local governments across the UK, as well as the Great London Authority in London, where we're based. And 93% of all those students have said they'd recommend this course to a friend. Just to give you a bit of a snapshot, of the impact, we asked this question. I am confident that if a problem facing my local community arose, I'll be able to work with others to resolve it. Now, the majority in red answered two out of five. After the program, the majority answered four or five out of five. Quick other one. I understand the main institutions of British local and international government. Pre-course, most of them answered either three or two. Post-course, most said five or four. So there is clear impact in regards to the programs. And it just shows that political literacy is something that young people not just want, but actively benefit from. Just a couple of snapshots of some of our uh, recent subscribers and schools. As I mentioned, the idea of political literacy is something that is quite new. It's something that often schools don't do, not just in the UK, but across Europe. And if we just take a look at how our political system is at the moment, if we look at how uh, the European Union elections played out, if we look at how, for instance, Brexit in the UK is playing out, political literacy could never be more important. We need to make sure that the next generation has the tools necessary to engage in how the system works. Because like puppies aren't just for Christmas, politics isn't just for general elections. Thank you very much. <laughs>